good evening. On behalf of the faculty, administration, and staff, I would like to welcome you to Tennessee Connection Academy's commencement event. Tonight, we gather together to celebrate the academic accomplishments of the graduating class of 2021. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2021. Good evening, TNCA class of 2021. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other is gold. I wanna wish you the best on all of your future endeavors. Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Congratulations, Tennessee Connections Academy, class of 2021. It has been such an honor to watch you learn and grow throughout your time at Connections Academy. May today's success be the beginning of tomorrow's achievements. Happy graduation, everyone. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so very proud of you, and we can't wait to see what you're going to do in your future. Remember, if opportunity doesn't come finding you, you go and build your own door. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of you, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish. Congratulations to our class of 2021. Take pride in how far you have come and have faith in how far you can go. Congratulations, class of 2021. Your future depends on what you do today. Make it a great one. Congratulations, Tennessee Connections Academy class of 2021. Can you believe it? You made it. You should think of this as the beginning, not the end. Good luck to all of you in all of your future endeavors. And always remember that you're going to make mistakes, but when you make mistakes, you find success in those mistakes. Never stop learning, never stop moving forward. And way to go, guys.
Congratulations, class of 2021. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see what you accomplish. You have brains in your head. You have feet on your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who decides where to go. Congratulations, class of 2021 here at Tennessee Connections Academy. I am so very proud of each and every one of you. And I pray for continuous growth in any direction you choose. Hello, graduates of 2021. You know, to borrow from an old Greek physician, extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. And this has been unlike any time we've ever seen in our history, right? Yet here you are because of your hard work and your extraordinary efforts graduating from high school tonight. We're so proud of you. Whatever lies ahead, just remember, always be extraordinary. Congratulations, class of 2021. Graduates, congratulations. This long-awaited day of achievement is finally here. I leave you with this. Always give thanks and humbly help others along their way. Strive to use your potential to its fullest while knowing happiness is not found only in money and accomplishments, but in service to others and love. We are all so proud of you and honored that we had a supporting role in your lives. Congratulations. Congrats, seniors. And a big shout out to my English and AP Lit students. You have accomplished so much this year and have overcome many challenges. This has only made you stronger. I will miss you so much, but I know you will go forth and accomplish many great things. We persevere and we do not quit. Congratulations, guys. Class of 2021, you made it, you guys. You are in real life, real adult life. Welcome. All right, so no one's gonna tell you how to do this thing, and the secret is, it's because no one really knows themselves. So let me just tell you something in poem form to keep in mind as you move about this crazy world. Life is a what like an old Scantron test. All multiple choice, and when you don't know, you guess. Sometimes two options seem equally right, other times none at all, and then you just choose by sight. I put too many B's, let's throw in an A, make that neat line of bubbles a little less straight. In those situations, don't second guess. You're your top ally, you know yourself best. Life's answer key is just as unique as each graduate honored tonight on our screen. So you're gonna do great. Trust yourself, move forward with confidence. Don't sweat the small stuff. Frederick William Robertson said, instruction ends in the schoolroom, but education ends only with life. As you leave high school today, remember this. Your future has so many possibilities and your opportunities for learning are endless. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hello, seniors. May the light of your glory never go dim. May the wisdom of God remain in you. May mighty doors be opened up for you. Congratulations, class of 2021. I know you will shine bright in all that you do. Anna Stanfield said, I cannot do all the good the world needs but the world needs all the good I can do. TNCA class of 2021, we can't wait to see what good you're gonna do in the world. Congratulations, class of 2021. As you depart as TNCA graduates and begin to make new connections, I encourage you to consider these wise words from one of my very favorite people, Mr. Fred Rogers. He said, if you could only sense how important you are to the lives of those you meet, how important you could be to the people you may never even dream of. There is something of yourself that you leave at every meeting with another person. Congratulations, class of 2021. While this is just the end of one chapter, it's the beginning of a lifetime. So I wish you a lifetime of success and adventure. Congratulations. Good luck, class of 2021. Good luck on your next big adventure. 
Happy graduation. You did it. Keep up the good work and continue to strive for excellence. Congratulations, TNCA graduate. I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to see all of the awesome things you will do in the future. Best of luck. Hello, 2021 graduates. It's Mrs. Gregory from the biology department. And I just want to tell you how proud I am of you. You've come a long way. You've set goals. You've stuck with it. And you've been successful. I'm so proud of you. You've literally made history. And I can't wait to see what your future holds. Take care. And remember to stay focused because you're going to find what you look for out there. Hi, seniors. My senior quote when I was in school was, a ship in harbor is safe, but that's not what ships are for, which basically is telling us we have all of this knowledge now, and now it's time for us to get the experience. If there's something that you just really ever felt that I really want to do this, go out there and do it. If it's traveling to another country, make it happen. If it's moving to a different city, make it happen for yourself because uh, that's what life is all about and you don't want to have any of those big regrets. So good luck to you and I wish you the best. Good evening, students, parents, faculty, staff, and guests of our graduates. I want to welcome you to the graduation for the class of 2021. This is the second graduating class with Tennessee Connections Academy, and our class of graduating seniors have worked hard to achieve a goal that started over 12 years ago. There are many ways to describe this unique year and how our students have overcome many obstacles to make it here today. I am reminded of a story that illustrates the point of achieving your goal after a long period of time. This is the story of the Olympic Games of 1912 that were held in Stockholm, Sweden, and a marathon runner from Japan named Shizo Kanakuri. Before 1912, Japan had never competed in the Olympics, but for the 1912 Olympics, they were to send two athletes. One was competing in a sprint event, and the other was Kanakuri, who had qualified with a top marathon time and would have a real shot at a medal in the event. The athletes from Japan traveled to Sweden. However, it was a perilous journey taking nearly 10 hours by train from Japan to Sweden. During the trip, Kanakuri's fellow athlete got sick and Kanakuri had to care for him during the journey. Because of the long journey, Kanakuri arrived in Sweden with little time to prepare and was not well rested from the journey. However, he persevered and ran the marathon. Nearly three quarters of the way through the marathon, Kanakuri got extremely sick and dehydrated and collapsed in a village and was taken in by a family and nursed back to health. Because he felt he had failed, and honor was so important in the Japanese culture, he went back to Japan without notifying anyone. He didn't notify the Olympic race officials that he had left the race. The race officials declared Kanakuri as missing from the race and his time marked as incomplete. Kanakuri lived out his remaining years in Japan, putting the race behind him, or so he thought. In 1967, a Swedish TV station decided to investigate what happened to Kanakuri and tracked him down in Japan. He explained his story, and the TV station worked with the Olympic Committee to offer Kanakuri an opportunity to come to Sweden and to finish the race he started 54 years ago. Kanakuri was about to travel to Sweden and he finished running the race with a marathon finish time of 54 years, 246 days, 5 hours, 32 minutes, and 20.3 seconds. 
which represents the longest time to complete a marathon. A marathon is an event that is about a single individual's preparation and performance to compete. But we see from this story that being able to achieve and attain a goal and to finish the race, there is help along the way and we should never let our pride stand in the way of asking for and receiving help to achieve those goals. The class of 2021 started this journey to graduation over 12 years ago. And with the help of parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, friends, classmates, teachers and administrators, they would not be here today ready to take the next step in their life journey. Completing your educational journey in an online environment during a pandemic is a true accomplishment. And we have an incredible faculty of teachers and staff members that have put their heart and soul into helping students and families navigate the waters of virtual schooling successfully. I often lean on a verse in Proverbs 27 that says, iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. We have all learned a tremendous amount this year. And as we engage in the learning process together, we can truly achieve great things. It is my wish and sincere hope that our graduates have great success in all they do after graduation. Graduates, I wish you the best. Thank you. Good evening, family, friends, teachers, faculty, and fellow graduates. I am absolutely honored to represent the graduating class of 2021. This year, like every year, has had its own set of difficulties and triumphs. 2020 to 2021 has had vastly different circumstances than we ever would have imagined. All of us persevered. We accepted the difficulties and adjusted. We didn't let anything come between us and our goals. Life might change, but we refused to let troubles overcome us. We all came to Tennessee Connections Academy for many different reasons. Some came for medical reasons, bullying, the pandemic, or for the flexibility of scheduling. Whatever the reason, it brought us all together. We are a group like none other. Between all of us, we have experienced many types of schools, such as home schools, online schools, private schools, online public schools, and brick and mortar public schools. Our blended experiences have made a unique learning environment. Not only do we learn from the amazing faculty and teachers, but also from each other. With the current technology at our fingertips, we can meet students from all over Tennessee, just from attending live lessons. Through our joint efforts, everyone gets to learn about the differences that Miles make. Through this, each student is much more knowledgeable about the world around them. This knowledge is important for our futures. Standing on the threshold of our young adulthood, we will now be embarking on new adventures that will determine our lives. I, and probably many of you, remember our first days of school as scary and new. I remember begging to never have to go back, just for my mom to remind me of how I was begging to go to the school prior. We turned that fear around and grew as young people, and now get to have the same apprehension on, about our next journey. Every one of us must ask the age-old question, what's next? For some, it's college, while for others, it could be trade schools, the military, or going straight into the workforce. No matter which path is for you, you can be proud knowing that each one is important for our society. Each will make a profound difference. To conclude, we can't forget all the mentors and support that we had getting to this day. Whether it was a parent, grandparents, siblings, a guardian, or teachers, all were vital to our success. Without them, this would have been a much more difficult journey. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good morning, students, guardians, staff, and guests, and welcome to the graduation ceremony of TNCA's class of 2021. My name is Rihanna Morshed, and I have been given the honor of being salutatorian of TNCA this year. 
First, I would like to thank everyone from the teachers to our friends and family members for attending today's virtual graduation. You all have had a great impact in these students' lives, and I'm sure we are all grateful for the efforts you have put forward into making us who we are and helping us reach this moment. It is truly an honor to be given this opportunity to speak as salutatorian at TNCA today. When I first received the email from Mrs. Marks informing me of this news, I was so nervous and thought about emailing her back and opting out. But after speaking with my family members and thinking about it, I decided to take this opportunity and give the speech today. Although this isn't the graduation we expected it to be, this moment is still one of the most important moments of our lives as we have worked hard and persevered for over 12 years to reach this moment. We have struggled, stayed up late, and maybe cried a couple of tears in our four years of high school, but we have finally made it. And even though we've experienced hardships in high school, I'm sure we've made many more amazing memories. We've made new friends, learned new things, and experienced great moments that we will never forget, whether at TNCA or at another school. Like the amazing diverse culture at the International Club at my old school, and calming music Ms. Hill plays at the beginning of every class, and the funny but random jokes Mr. Crow tells when teaching U.S. government. There are also many things I learned in high school that, have, that will impact me forever, like the Facing History course I took in 10th grade that taught us how to accept others' differences and sta stand up instead of stand by, in order to not repeat the mistakes of the people before us. It is memories like these that make it sad to complete high school and say goodbye but I'm sure we'll make many more amazing memories in our lives after high school as well. Congratulations to all of us for making it this far. I'm very proud of all of you. And whether you decide to go to college after high school or do something else, I hope you succeed in life and do what you love to do most. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Dr. Chris Causey and I'm the director of schools for Robertson County. I know that while I have not met most of you, I wanted all of you to know that I am proud of your graduation. And I'm excited that we as a school system were able to meet the needs that you have had during the past year or years. I also want to thank all of the parents watching for the faith that you've had in Tennessee Connections Academy and in Robertson County Schools. I am sure that we have grandparents, cousins, aunts, uncles, and other family members and friends watching this evening. So I do want to say thank you to Mr. Derek Sanborn, your principal, for allowing me to speak this evening. A few years back, a few months back, and for some of you maybe a few weeks back, you might not have thought that tonight would happen for you. Or because of COVID, maybe you didn't even know what it might look like. We've had restrictions placed upon us all for the interest of our health and safety. Beliefs about what many of us have known have been challenged, and these beliefs have either been upheld or possibly changed. Some of us have questioned who we can even trust anymore. Maybe a life event placed you on the path that led to your graduation tonight. When I think of one word that has brought you to this evening and many of us through the pandemic, it has been perseverance. As I mentioned to our early graduates here in Robertson County back in January, perseverance is not a given. You are not born with it. You cannot inherit it. The experiences that you've had in your life either create it or they can squelch it. So what is perseverance? Definition alert, I get to give you one last definition before you graduate. Perseverance is the steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay. So even though you may have had difficulty or for some of you a delay in getting to this point tonight, you have made it. You have succeeded in ways that thousands of others have not. And for that, I congratulate you. But my challenge to you this evening is very simple. Do not settle. Your success is something to celebrate. Matter of fact, tonight is the night that you can ask your parents and others for money and they're almost obligated to give it to you. But do not make tonight your finish line. Go now and do extraordinary things. Think about those inspirational figures that you've had in your life. And it's a given for you to say, I'm doing this for my mom, or I'm graduating for my dad, or for my grandparents, or for that one teacher that believed in me. However, I also want you to think about the flip side of that. Think about those figures in your life that said, you're not ever going to make it. You cannot do it. 
Tonight, you have proved those people wrong. And now, my plea for you is to go out and prove them even more wrong. In conclusion, perseverance is something that can come from experience, including this one. Winston Churchill is famous for a speech he gave, and this was his only statement. He said, never give up. But that's not actually the whole speech. So I, I looked up Winston Churchill's speech, and this is actually what he said. He said, never give in. Never give in. Never, 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 never. And nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. So never give in. Do not settle for mediocrity. Strive to do more than anyone would have ever dreamed you could do, including you. But lastly, be kind. We live in a world where it is easy to be negative, to be mean, and to hate. I plead to you to be different. Build relationships with those who care about you and support you. Show professionalism in all that you do, whatever profession you choose, and stay positive in all things. Blessings for continued success, and may the Lord bless you in your future endeavors. Good evening. Tennessee Connections Academy proudly presents to you the Class of 2021. Nigeria Abram Corbin Adams William Adams Alana Anderson Brian Atencio Halima Aziz Wali Jonah Berry Ian Battle Nicholas Beers Emmeline Belfontaine Michael Block Kennedy Body Alexandra Bookout Lindsay Bourne Chloe Bowen Kimberly Bowles Dominic Briley Jaina Birch Ashton Burdett Maya Burkett Brooke Burns Nikayla Cage Samantha Cat Dylan Calzadilla Emma Carrera Ramia Chapman Jaden Chisholm Haley Connor
Alyssa Coppola. Mary Crawley. Avri Crocker. Sakura Crumb. Hunter Crutcher. Jalen Dean. Cameron Decent. Giovanna D. Mond. Jeremiah Dickerson. Iris Dillon. Vanessa Dominguez. Arnise Douglas. Taya Drury. Madison Drinkard. Adeline Dunnigan. Alyssa Dunaway. Mariah Elamine. Jenna Engett. Hannah Falberg. James Fallis. Daniel Finkbeiner. Megan Fishbach. Jocelyn Forster McLean. Catherine Freitag. Desiree Gibbs. Raven Graham. Amelia Gray. Reese Guy. Delaney Guy. Josiah Hammond. Emily Hansen. Jenna Harrell. Kaylee Harris. Ricker Hart. Bethany Kara Hathcock. Douglas Hazelrig. Emma Heathcock. Brooke Heilman. Lily Hirschberg. Samuel Higby. Leonard Hill. Gracie Hobbs. William Hopper. Amara Horton. Jacob Howard. 
Kaylee Howard. Emmy Sue Howell Mosier. MC Kenna Huber. Jordan Humes. Hannah Hurd. Christopher Ingram. Christian Jaworski. Jakiah Jefferson. Brianna Jenkins. Natalie Johnson. Michael Lee Johnson. Sage Johnson Brown. Zuria Jones. Jeremiah Cargbo. Alexa Kilgore. Lauren King. Riley King. Alina Kirkpatrick. Madison Little. Madeline Lietza. Madeline Litza. Logan Lindahl. Madeline Little. Liam Luca. Shane Lyon. Morgan Marsh. Kai Martin. Kaylee Martin. Sierra Martinez. Joshua Martinez. Caitlin Martinez. Brooke Matthews. Kaylee May. Ian McClung. Gage McCumsey. Allie McGill. Haley McNabb. Marina Meeks. Cole Mercy. Chase Muhlenberg. Chad Muhlenberg. Haley Miller. Serenity Mills.
Savannah Myerles. Charlie Mago. Callie Moon. Ticker Amore. Krista Morris Rihanna Morshed Sergio Modis Brooke Mullins Daniel Mustafa Bishop Nard Drayson Narin Ruby New Madison Olds Stefani Oliveira Joseph Orlando Terence Otis Johnny Barbara Pena Robin Pendley Shauna Peterson Destiny Pierce Isabella Jeanette Qualman Sage Quillen Stone Quinlan Matthew Ricor Kristen Riddick Hilton Antonietta Rincones Alexia Roark Catherine Roberts Marlena Robinette Akira Rogers Ian Rouse Chandler Ruiz Gabriel Runyon Gabriella Psalms Sophia Sackos Jezere Sanchez Bailey Sands Samuel Sawyers Joanna Shibley Olivia Shells Hannah Smith Monica Steinman Alyssa Stowers 
Braden Steyer. Brendan Sutherland. Destiny Swallows. Brianna Thomas. Madison Thornhill. Felicia Tibbs. Brooklyn Troop. Morgan Terman. Campbell Vaudry. Ingrid Vidalas. Jaden Wainwright. Kaylee Watson. Gabriella West. Alexis Westbrook. Isaiah Wissenton. Christian White. Kiyoshi Yanatani. Joseph Zavala. I speak for the entire TNCA staff by saying we are incredibly proud of each one of our graduates and look forward to seeing the great things you will achieve. As one of my favorite authors, Theodore Geisel, once wrote, Oh, the places you'll go, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations, graduates. You may now flip your tassel.